GeoDeep Dive is a collaboration between Shannon Peters Geoscience Research Group, Miron Libney's Condor Research Group, the Center for High Throughput Computing, and the Hazy Research Group. The goal is to help geoscientists extract data that is buried in the text, tables, and figures of journal articles and websites, sometimes called dark data. To bring dark data to light, we use the Hazy Research Group's machine reading system. The GeoDeep Dive system extends a database created by Professor Peter's group called MacroStrat. MacroStrat contains information about rock formations and individual geographical units. Here is an example, the Barnet Formation. The Barnet Formation contains several units that are spatially distributed as shown on the map. It is also temporally distributed over several geological time intervals. MacroStrat contains over 36,000 rock formation units like these. There is also geologically relevant information in journal articles like this one. As we'll see, GeoDeep Dive extracts information about these rock formations from journal articles. As of today, GeoDeep Dive has processed over 36,000 research papers. This is the GeoDeep Dive homepage. It shows a summary of the results of GeoDeep Dive's deep linguistic and statistical processing. GeoDeep Dive has two main goals. First, organize the literature around the MacroStrat database to create a spatio-temporal index of the geology literature. On the left-hand side, we organize the extraction results spatially on a map. Our second goal is to augment the MacroStrat database by extracting dark data. On the right-hand side, we list some global statistics. GeoDeep Dive is still in its initial stages, but we are excited about the amount of dark data that we have already uncovered. For example, we found about 500,000 mentions of formation units from 36,000 documents and about 24,000 measurements of the units. Our preliminary analysis leads us to believe that there is even more dark data out there. We randomly sampled 50 papers from 70,000 geoscience articles and manually searched for dark data. Based on the analysis, we believe that there are more than 1 million mentions of formation units and 4 million mentions of locations buried in the text. We looked more deeply at total organic carbon. We estimate that there are more than 3,000 figures and 3,000 tables related to TOC. In these tables alone, we estimate there are approximately 100,000 TOC measurements. We are currently working hard to uncover dark data and integrate them into GeoDeep Dive. Our quality is improving rapidly as a result of a collaboration between geoscience students and computer science students. This timeline illustrates milestones of our current statistical quality as assessed by both groups. Let's walk through one task. Formation entity linking is the task of determining which strings refer to which formations. Without any knowledge of the geology domain, our precision was 71%. Then, after several iterations with Shannon and his team, our scores increased significantly. For example, on August 17th, Shannon found that we mistakenly extracted rock groups as rock formations and provided hints to fix this bug. After integrating his heuristics, our precision increased to 90%. Currently, our quality is 94% for formation entity linking. We continue to improve several different relations and hope to have a public demo soon. GeoDeep Dive uses Condor to scale up computationally expensive tasks. For example, OCR and linguistic parsing. Let's take OCR as an example. Running OCR on the 40,000 Geoscience Journal articles would require over 300,000 machine hours. On a single machine, this would take over 34 years. Fortunately, GeoDeep Dive is able to leverage Condor. Condor enables us to distribute the OCR tasks to thousands of machines on the National Open Science Grid. As a result, OCR took us only two weeks. Thanks, Condor.
For more details about how we hope a geoscientist will use GeoDeepDive, please see our YouTube channel that has a longer walkthrough of GeoDeepDive. Thank you for your interest in GeoDeepDive. We would also like to thank our sponsors who have made this project possible.